Hi, in this video I will do a short demonstration of how to manage and operate the user-defined list of remote commands. Let's suppose we want to control the Media Player Classic volume remotely. This function it is not one implemented as a predefined remote command in Blastag application. So to do this we need to first start the program. Select the device, mainly we need to go to the setting a new custom remote command panel. We know from the Media Player Classic menu that to get a higher volume, the up arrow key must be pushed. For a smaller volume, the down arrow key must be used. And to mute the volume, the combination Control M, Control and M key must be used. So let's implement this new remote co command. Now save, close, and you will see that the user remote command was inserted in this list. Pushing this button, the volume will go up, and pushing this button, the volume goes down. The shortcut associated with the sensor tag can be send, send it to the Windows operating system also. For instance, we have this case to control the PC volume. Let's start the associating process with the Thunderbolt React sensor tag. The remote command name can have no more than 50 characters. Here we have the numeric keys and starting from here, we have all, all the dedicated buttons. From the dedicated buttons, we use only the volume up and volume down. Save. Close. Now, pushing the buttons,
Okay, right now we can see that all it's working perfectly. In order to define different type of shortcuts, we have a limitation. We can use a combination of no more than three keys. Now let's test this. In Total Commander, we have the option Thumbnail View. This option can be activated using the combination Ctrl, Shift and F1. We observe here we have several types of shift case. Shift, left shift, right shift. If your program does not mention the type of shift K, you can use the generic shift K. If in your program is mentioned left shift, in this case you must use only the left shift K. In this example we use both type of shift and control to see what will happen. left sensor tag button, right sensor tag button. So, as you see there is no difference. Both sensor tag case work perfectly. Ok, all the user comments are saved and the next time you will find them here. Ok, this was all. Thank you very much for watching it and I wish you to have a pleasant time playing with the Blast Tag application. Bye bye.